No, not really. They, they just... They just, uh, went into the facility. Okay, so here is the training, the flash training facility. This is a very useful tool for uh, raising and training your characters. If by any chance you are low on levels and stats, and you want to train your characters, but without spending money at the special training spots, you can come here, and this is a very viable option. Especially because you can raise a couple of stats here that you can't raise in normal special training spots. And I'll show you in a second. That is pretty cool. Yes, let's go train. I'm, I'm pumped. Let's go. In the anime, this uh, this section was a little different. I'll, I'll, I'll explain in a second. So, now the route has opened in the connection map. Let's talk to these guys over here. This one. What do you have to say, Mr. Mr. Man? Welcome to the Flash Training Facility. Yes, that is pretty cool. Oh, yes. Oh, I forgot to mention that. Yeah, when you choose a training regimen here, you will increase the stats that you selected that you want to train, like to your whole team, not just one character, like the special training spots. Hey, thank you. Okay, so basically, yeah, th this is what I told you before. You can select a training program. It's, it's actually easier if I show you. You can select a training program from these. Most of these will raise two stats, but some of them will only raise one. But the cool thing about it is that this training program, the special course, raises your FP and TP. No other spot in the game, or... Basically, you, you can't raise it any other way except for leveling up. Th these two stats. So this is a very cool training uh, regimen, I guess. We're gonna go with this one. Let's go. Yes, I do! Okay, and when you do, you step through this door. And what will happen is you will enter a sort of a randomly generated dungeon. And at the center of the dungeon, there, it, will, it will... Well, not the center of the dungeon. At the center of uh, this, each room, there will be an objective. It's usually either fighting a team, like we're going to do right now, or it'll be collecting a chest. And your objective in this dungeon is going to be to uh, find the biggest room where you will find a team on a no and, and, have, and play a normal match with them. And then at the end you will get your stats raised. That's pretty much how this will work. Pass over to him. These guys are weak, again, as they have been, always. Hopefully I'm not too far for the chip shot to work. Nope, that's fine. All right. And uh, once we leave this this little screen, we didn't, well, that wasn't a lot of experience. On the top screen, you can see a, a map, and it'll be unlocked as you proceed through the rooms. For instance, right now, we have the chance of going either up or left. I'm going to go up, because usually the last room, the one we're trying to locate, is at the top. But it can be at the top left, or at the top right, or not at the top at all, I guess. Another match. Okay, that's cool. I'm going to leave this in, these in. But uh, I'm probably not, never gonna come here again, the special training room. On camera, if I have to train, I'll probably come here, but off camera. Um, okay, let's pass over to this guy. You can go up, thank you. Here we go, keep going. Uh, let's do charge. I guess my character does beat yours. That's cool. Even though you have two guys, okay. Ah, nope, right, right there. Okay, chip shot or shoot. Um... Let's do chip shot. Let's, let's, uh, let's bank on this. Because we're sort of close to him, so I'm kind of afraid that he would get the ball before it goes over him. But he's uh, terrible. He's terrible, so he didn't. I think I think the reason why they're terrible and they, they can never get the ball is because the game chooses random players to be goalkeepers as opposed to characters that have high guard stats. That's why. Also, they might have low stats in general. I don't know. Okay, well, I'm going to go up this time again. Hopefully we will reach... Nope, this is not it. But this time we don't have to fight anything. This is just a chest. And from these chests you can get the usual items. They'll be... Yeah, they'll be stamina and... Um, T well, fatigue point and uh, TP technique points replenishing items most of the time. 
But not always. I'm not sure if this works the same way as the second game. In the second game, sometimes you will get special techniques from, from the chests. But from what I remember, the special techniques were from this game. Like, like cool special techniques from this game you couldn't get anywhere else. Maybe, possibly, I don't know. I could be saying something. I could be pulling this out of my ass. Probably am. Um, go this way. And pass over to Kevin. Pass over to him. You, you need some, some water. You need some water. Okay, I have a chip shot. See, this, this is why I cut out battles. Because I always do this, and it always works. And you guys don't want to see me do this over and over. Oh, this one actually managed to... Wow, you blocked my shot. That is... Wow. I was not expecting that. And Axel is incredibly... Oh, one thing that I, that I can show you. When you're in these random battles, one thing you can do that you can't do in normal matches is you can go to the menu at any point, and you can feed them items. Because, for instance, Axel was low on fatigue points, so we're gonna give him a sports drink. Axel. There. He was under half. Because he was under half, he was... He was... You know, he was tired. He couldn't run as fast and stuff. So, uh... We just fixed that. Pretty cool. Come on. Kevin, what? Really, Kevin? Sliding tackle, thank you, man. Okay. Keep going up, then. Pass over to Jack there. I need you to move up, Axel. Um, I'm gonna show you Super Armadillo, simply because we haven't seen it yet. Pretty cool! Alright, and now we're gonna shoot this against this guy here. Um, ship shot doesn't work, so I guess a normal shot might... You might have to use one of the strikers. Ah, cool. No need for the strikers. How about that? All right. Nice, and Kevin level up as well. Wow, look at that. Kevin levels up fast. Ooh, and he learned zigzag spark. Nice. Okay, so as you can see, we didn't pick the right path. I think we have to go to the left, and probably the objective will be on the top left of the map, is my guess. You can see that in the center of each, like, room, there is a symbol. It's supposed to remind you of what, uh, training regimen you picked. Ooh, youth boots. Nice. Usually, the last room should be at the top, so I'm going up this time. See? This is the big room, this is the, the last one. I, before we start, am going to give items. I am going to give a stamina bar to Jack, because we used one of his techniques earlier. There we go. And now, we can proceed. Oh, sorry. Wrong button. Stop to this guy right here. Yes, I can make it. I'm pretty sure I'm ready. And this is going to be a normal match, like a normal-sized match. With 60 in-game minutes. I still cannot get through my head why they picked six in, 60 in-game minutes. It feels like they've never played football in their lives, because usual matches have 90 minutes, 45 minute parts. Okay, our team, I'm happy with it. And their team, pretty cool. Now these teams aren't teams that you can recruit players from, because they were created by the developers using members of other teams that we've met before. And for whatever reason, all of the players in, on the opposing team are called uh, Fighter. I don't know why, I guess they were sort of hired to help us play football or something? Um, well, you know, it's too charge because uh, our element overpowers yours. Fuck that. It uh, doesn't matter at all. Um, flying tackle. I'd rather be attacking- Ooh, my god, you have special techniques. Black magic, okay. Um, well, you're not gonna get, get uh, the, the, you're gonna get through these guys. Uh, ah, go, oh, no! <laughs> it's kind of hard to actually maneuver them with the uh, with the mouse. The wall. I actually love this move. And in all Japanese fashion, when um, in the in the TV show and uh, in uh, the in Azuma Eleven Strikers. They will shout out their their moves while doing them. I always like how they did that in anime. From a from a strategic standpoint, that would be terrible because uh, you shouldn't let your opponents know what you're gonna do. But you know, ah, some double touch passes. Ah, you guys are terrible. Let's try doing the. Did it work? Well, fire tackle. Is it worth it? Probably is. Yeah, because your element overpowers mine. Probably worth it, okay. 
Thrust Fire Tackle, Heat Tackle. There we go. Eh. Are you serious, a foul? Oh, god damn it. <laughs> Just made me waste my TP for no reason. Put some of these guys up here. And bring them up over here. Three guys should be enough to deal with this. Just put this Axel closer to the other guy. Pro no, not that close, because if they're too close, they will not allow you to. See, that's cool. Pass over there. Keep going. And shoot. And this guy is of the wind element. That is neutral against our fire elements. Let's do fire tornado because it's the one that costs less DP. You probably won't be able to stop it, so that's fine. See, there you go. Didn't even try. I love it when they do that. There's no way. Well, that's not true. I was going to say there's no way that uh, a goalkeeper is going to be able to, sh to stop your, uh, your special techniques if they don't use a special technique of their own, but that's not true. If their stats are super high, if they're a lot, like, like, I don't know, I guess two-thirds above yours, they will uh, be able to catch the, the, the ball with, with much ease. Um, let's do block. Pretty cool. Now let's pass a little bit further back, because I want someone to bring the ball up. Yeah, that's cool, man. Let's do some flurry dash. Wow, Ghost Bull 1? Wow, Ghost Bull is amazing. But we're winning, so that's fine. Let's, let's actually get this guy here. Cool. If you win, I want you to go up, so let's do the big ball. I love fake ball. I love how they switch the ball for a watermelon. That's awesome. That is great imagination right there. Ooh, okay. Ooh, nice. Uh, hopefully, you, yeah, get the ball, Kevin. Now go. Yeah, you're fired up? Yeah. You are? Okay. Well, if you're fired up, I'm going to give you some Dragon Crash. Killer Blade! Good luck with that, buddy. Killer Blade is a pretty crappy goalkeeper technique. Alright. We won. I think, we, I think we've got this one. There's no risk. This team, these teams in general are not going to be very hard. And I don't think they level up with you. Meaning that if you're over-leveled, you'll be able to beat them with ease. Uh, God damn it, mouse, I need you to move faster, thank you, there we go. Like that, uh, you're gonna do block, sure. Ooh, after image. Alright, um... Well, uh, okay, that was bad. Um, how about, what do, you, what do you have? You have spinning cut, sure, do spinning cut then. Alright, we won. Alright, uh, pass over here to Mar Max. That was terrible, that was a terrible pass. My characters don't have enough stats for this to work. Um, do quick draw then. Uh, that was actually bad, because the, the first half is about to end, so we're not going to be able to... Yeah, see? I can be able to score. If, if A good technique to use is if you're at the end of a, of a part, like uh, the halfway point of the game, or at the end of the game, well, at the end of the game, you could you could try, because the game's going to end anyways, but at, at, at the halfway point, if you're close to that, you shouldn't try using techniques, because you probably you're not going to have enough time to reach the goal and score. So basically what I do is I don't do anything and just let the other team waste their TP. Every single time. Um, okay. Ooh, you're amazing. How did you pull that off? Um... Wow, you have terrible TP. Thank God I'm raising your TP right now. Because you only have TP for one goddamn uh, spinning cut? That was terrible. Uh, go this way and charge, because I'm not going to have TP to score if I don't charge. Yeah, I was, I was, yeah, I thought he was going to lose. Okay, um, uh, all right, well, Jack, this is all on you, man. The wall, man. The wall should beat pretty much everything, because Jack has high guard stab. He's pretty good. And he has high body? I could be wrong, I don't know. No, body is, is for... Uh, no, no, body is for...
getting through players like it's tackling, I guess. Uh, again, same thing again. Well, I should pop my... Ooh, nice and foul. <laughs> I love that. Um, let's get Max over here. So bad. We can pass over to him, like right there. Where, where, who's ha who has the ball? You do. 